Hi everyone, so I am coming today to do a video response to um, Sissy Knitting's um, video. Um, if I can find it really, really quick, because I want to make sure I get the name of it right. It is Yarn Addiction December Sissy Knitting slash Tag You Are It video. Um, and she asked a few questions, so I am going to answer those questions with you all and share my answers with you as well. So the first question is, what makes you buy yarn? What makes me buy yarn is simply the different textures and colors, um, the variety of colors that are out there. Um, and then too, when I see a pattern that I really, really like, I go to the store and I try to get that yarn just so that I can make that pattern but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way I end up making something else instead so um, yeah it's just you know like I said just the variety of colors and then to the availability there is as well to get what I need um, and also the prices, um, because yarn can get ex expensive, um, especially when you buy a lot of it and when you buy it like all throughout the week, it can get really, really expensive, but, um, If I think that it's a good deal, like if the yarn is on sale or something like that, I'll I'll try to get it. Um, where do you hide hide your yarn? I don't hide my yarn because I don't feel the need to. Um, not you know my my yarn stash is not really that huge that I have to hide it or I don't really have a lot to the point that I need to hide it but my husband knows I crochet so I don't need to hide at all um, or hide the yarn um, do you sneak a project in your purse wherever you go I take my yarn bag with me everywhere I go um, I don't really carry my purse too much. Um, I put everything in my yarn bag and get what I need. And I actually have two of them. I have one where I keep my baby yarns at because um, a while back I did a response to another um, video showing you all what I had in my yarn bag. <clears throat> So one of them, the first one that I showed you all, I actually now have um, my baby yarns in. So that's where I keep my baby yarn and things like that at. This one here is my second one that I've had since this summer. Well, not this summer, but since August, not August, um, October, November, somewhere along there. Um... <clears throat> So I keep everything, keep my yarn bag close. I travel with it, you know, I'm going out of town. Even if I'm out for an hour or so, I take my yarn bag with me. Um, do you try to get your friends interested in what you are crafting and try to teach them how to knit or crochet? I haven't taught anybody how to knit or crochet. Um, nobody in my family or, you know, friends. 
because most of my family and friends don't even know that I crochet or knit. If they know, they haven't said anything to me about it. I did have an aunt a while back to ask about crocheting and about crocheting, but I haven't heard anything else from her. Um, I don't mind teaching anybody how to knit or crochet, but I'm not going to force anybody to do something that they don't want to do. Um, so, yeah. So, moving on. My favorite color to work with. Hmm. I have to. And... I like gray and I also like this coral color even though I haven't made anything much with it but I do have quite a few items that are gray um, I like all shades of gray um, well not quite a few but I have a few items that are gray but I like to crochet with gray yarn I don't know why I guess because, like, most of my clothing that I have is, like, black. Because the job that I was working at, we only could wear, like, three colors. That was black, white, and gray. So, yeah. So, that's what, like, most of my dress clothes are, are like. Um, but I like this one as well. Um, and my most favorite or most, the project that I'm most proud of, I would say, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can find anything in my album really quick because if I find anything then I'll have to go and get a picture of it and put it in this video so let me see if I can find that really quick for you all and now I want to take forever Yeah, um, yeah, looking through, I don't really have like a project in my album, so I can go ahead and do what I um, have. And I actually have like two, it's actually what I'm wearing <laughs> now. So, um, this is just a beret that I made this weekend, actually. I really like it because it's slouchy. It's not, you know, tight-fitting or anything like that. And, um, the second one is this granny square scarf. I had a lot of fun making these, so this is, like, one of my most favorite projects, um, that I've ever made out of everything that I have made. This is my fo my most favorite. These two here. So, yeah. So, I think that concludes everything. And, um... I will be talking to you guys later. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.